morning, everyone. Uh, whenever I am uh, invited by my close friend, my best friend forever, Reverend Chang Sun Moon, I'm really uh, afraid because uh, he would uh, invite me and tell me, hey, you are going to speak this topic tomorrow. <laughs> And because I cannot say no to his invitation, I will always say yes, but. But with a but. Okay, and so uh, I'm here to present to you a special topic that is in my heart, and I'm living it. And that is called business as mission. My intention is in this particular first next generation Korean diaspora ministries forum and conference that with this presentation, I would be able to encourage you to raise wealth creators and distributors among the Korean diaspora. So let me start with my journey to business as mission. I am the youngest of five siblings. At age two, my dad left our family, that is mom, two brothers, and two sisters, and never came back to us since then. I learned how to earn by selling all kinds of food stuff being cooked by my mom at four years old. From my grades one to six, I was a working student. My mom passed away due to complicated heart disease when I was 14 years old. From 13 to 18 years old, I lived and worked in a general merchandise store of my uncle in a public market located 600 kilometers north of my birthplace. My training in the actual business operation took place in this period of my life with my uncle as my mentor and tormentor. Oh. <laughs> Fast forward today, I am happily married to Marlene, CPA, Certified Public Accountant, and two daughters and son, with a son-in-law and two grandsons. And I am a Certified BAM Practitioner. As you can see, many of you have been reading English as well, because of the training of the training, 통역이 필요한 만큼만 제가 통역하도록 하겠습니다. And uh, let me introduce you to my family in this picture. So it's not really that sharp and clear with our uh, uh, old projector, but uh, I have a beautiful family. <laughs> <laughs> and my two grandsons with... Uh, our uh, their dog, okay, and that is in our place, in our residence in Valenzuela City, Metro Manila. Well, the need for BAM. How can BAM sustain my God-given ministry? And I am presenting to you here two pictures. First is at the center you would see a lady, white-haired lady. And on the other side, a couple. And they are actually participants of our consultation last week in Liverpool. 사진에서 the, 보이는 두 개의 사진에서 가운데 보이시는 그 하얀 머리에 저 아주머니하고 이쪽에 계신 이두 분들 모두 다 
지난주에 리버풀에서 있었던 컨퍼런스에 참여하셨던 분들이랍니다. Well, what I heard from these two people is basically the same. And that is, how can BAM sustain my God-given ministry? 이두 분들이 했던 얘기가 공통적으로 가지고 있는 얘기는 어떻게 비즈니스에서 미션이 하나님께서 내게 주신 또 내가 해야 할 사역으로 될수 있을까에 대한 그런 내용이었다고 합니다. And that is not a simple question to be answered with a simple answer. 이런 얘기에 대해서는 역시 어, 간단하게 대답을 할수 있는 어떤 그런 면들이 있다고 하네요. But with the help of this presentation, perhaps and I hope I would be able to shed light on how BAM can help a ministry that is given to each one of us using this platform. Uh, 본인의 경험상 자기의 가, 가진 비즈니스 미션을 통해서 어떻게 많은 사람들한테 이런 일들을 할수 있을지에 대한 답을 줄수 있기 때문에 어, 그런 어떻게 비즈니스 미션이 사역으로 연결될 수 있을까에 대한 것에 대해서 자기가 쉽게 얘기를 해줄 수 있다라고 말하고 있습니다. Let me ask you, how many of you are engaged in business as mission, big or small? Okay. Only one out of all of us here is engaged in business as mission. Okay. And plus me, so two out of us here. Okay, so not many people, not many uh, called out people in the ministry are exploring and engaging in business as mission. So now let me define first what is business as mission. So business as mission, bam, is a profitable. Viable, sustainable, and professionally run business organization. BAM is focused on holistic transformation of the business community. Yesterday, last night, in the presentation of Dr. Yamamori, he mentioned about holism or holistic ministry. That church, in order to be strategic and uh, doing the cutting-edge ministry must really focus on the holistic transformation of the person. And there was a question raised. What is holistic transformation all about? And he said, 어제도 잠깐 얘기가 나왔지만 통전적 선교에 대한 definition. 그러니까 과연 통전적 선교가 무엇인가 그것이 비즈니스 선교와 어떻게 연관되고 있는가에 대한 어, 설명을 잠깐 하고 있는 것 같은데 그 교회의 영적인 접근 방법 이외에 다른 부분들을 어떻게 해서 사람들을 실제로 도울 수 있을까에 대한 얘기를 하시려는 것 같습니다. And he answered that question. Basically he said, it is the transformation of the physical and spiritual aspect of the human being. So, 영육 간의 케어를 줄수 있는 것 바로 그것을 한마디로 정한다면 통전적 선교라고 얘기하시네요. While uh, a church ministry, the diaspora, engage in evangelism and discipleship is focusing on the transformation of the physical and spiritual life of a person, BAM is focused on the transformation of the business entity itself that involves the people who operate the business. 통전적 선교의 방법 중에 하나로 비즈니스 미션을 통해서 영적인 것뿐만 아니라 그분들이 갈수 있는 사회적인 뭐 이런 것들에 대한 것들을 제공해 주는 것이 뱀이라고 말씀하십니다. BAM has a clear economic, social, environmental and spiritual target outcomes. BAM reaches out to the poorest and least evangelized peoples with the whole gospel of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 
가난한 사람들에게 어, 어떻게 하면 저들의 삶을 변화시킬 수 있는 복음을 전할 수 있을까에 대한 고민도 역시 뱀에서 하고 있는 내용이라고 합니다. In other words, BAM is a real business with a real mission. So the three great mandates related to BAM in the Bible. First is what we call the creation mandate. And it's found in Genesis chapters 1 to 3, highlighting the verse 27 and 28 of chapter 1 that says, Let us create man in our own image. Male and female, God created them, and he said to them, okay, take full control of the earth, right? The resources in the earth, the birds that fly in the air, the animals and the plants on the ground, including the mineral deposits on the ground, and the fish or the aquatic resources in the waters. 뱀이 추구하고 있는 그 세계의 큰 명령 수행을 따져보면 먼저 창조 하나님의 이미지를 따라서 창조된 그 창조 명령을 따르고 지금 두 번째 세 번째는 지금 말씀 안 하셨지만 제가 지금 미리 말씀드리는 게첫 번째 두첫 번째와 두 가지의 큰 계명 그 다음에 마지막으로 저 마태복음 28장에 있는 대위임령을 이루고 나가는 것이 뱀을 통해서 저들이 원하는 세 가지 중요한 요인 중에 하나라고 얘기하고 있습니다. And it is stewardship of the creation. Stewardship and entrepreneurship and business management are all related with one purpose to really take full control of the resources given to you. Okay? And then the second one is the first and second greatest commandment which is found in Matthew 22, 36 to 40 and compare that with Exodus chapter 21 to 17, which is basically the Ten Commandments. Now, what is the greatest commandment? Right? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, and with all your soul. And the second greatest commandment is love your neighbor as Christ loves you. Okay? Okay? So, you cannot love God and your neighbor without sharing your life. Without entrusting your life. The whole of your being. And then when you love your neighbor, you cannot just say to a needy person, Yes, I heard you and I'm going to pray for you. That's just the first step. But you have to act more than that. You have to share. You have to give something that you have. Something that is precious to you. You have to share it. And that is love. 하나님을 사랑하고 사람을 사랑하라는 그두 가지 계명을 우리가 삶 가운데에서 실천하지 않는다면 그것은 결국 이루어질 수 없는 내용이고 정말로 우리가 마음속에 잡고 실천해 나가기로 해야 될 중요한 내용은 어떻게 우리가 우리의 삶을 다른 사람들과 함께 쉐어하고 오픈하고 도울 수 있는가에 대한 것이 이두 번째 큰 위대한 두 개의 명을 어떻게 우리 삶 속에서 실천해 나갈 것인가에 대한 어, 적용점이라고 말씀하십니다. And then the third great commission. The great commission is the last uh, I would say, mandate given to us by Jesus Christ before He ascended to heaven. We all know that, right? Based on Matthew 28, 18 to 20, and Acts 1, 8, and the other references in Luke and Mark and John. But what is that all about? It's about going out and making disciples and teaching them all that Jesus Christ commanded us. And Jesus Christ will be with us until the end of the age. Now, what is the common denominator in all of these three? It is God's provision. That we must be an excellent steward of. 
Let us not just consume what God has given us, spend it, but let us also multiply it. So that the next generation will have something that they can do and can use and they can also multiply. So it's all about replenishing the earth. And the earth is God's resources given to us. Let's not do a funnel ministry. You know what a funnel is? A funnel. You use when you pour liquid into another container. Funnel. Yeah, funnel. Yeah, when you put when you put in pour in water, for example, a liquid, the liquid will go through, right, to another container, fast. Right. 지금 세 가지의 뱀에서 나오는 이 기본 정신을 통해서 우리가 어떻게 우리가 가진 이 자원을 우리만 가지고 그걸 소비하고 끝나버리는 것이 아니라. 이 자원을 어떻게 우리의 넥스트 제너레이션에게 나누어지고 더욱더 풍성하게 해서 그것을 함께 할 것인가에 대해서 굉장히 중요한 포인트가 있는데 그 부분에 대해서 말씀하시면서 지금 깔때기를 얘기하면서 우리의 삶의 사역이 그런 사역을 해야 되지 않을까라고 얘기하시는 것 같습니다. In the saying, it is better to receive Right? It's better to give than to receive. Who is the giver? Right? Who is the giver? The giver is the person who knows how to multiply his resources. 주는 것보다 받는 것보다 주는 게더 복이 있다 그러는데 어떻게 줄수 있을까요? 그줄수 있는 사람은 어떻게 우리가 가진 재화를 더 많이 만들고 더 많이 so multiply 해서 다른 사람들에게 전해 줄수 있는 바로 그런 사람들이 그 일을 할수 있지 않을까 생각합니다. Okay. So uh, it is really a challenge for us in the diaspora to train our next generation not just to do the diaspora mission but also engage in business as mission so that we can sustain our diaspora mission. 디아스포라 미션을 얘기할 때 그저 영적인 차원으로서만 얘기하고 접근할 것이 아니라 우리의 넥스트 제너레이션에게 어떻게 하면 어, 통정적인 선교로서의 비즈니스 에즈 미션을 가르쳐서 이것을 좀더 지속적이고 좀더 효과적으로 할수 있을지 생각해 봐야 할 때라고 얘기하십니다. We cannot distribute wealth unless there are wealth creators. 바로 그렇게 가진 재화를 더 많이 만들어 줄수 있는 사람. 그래서 wealth creators. 그래서 재물을 창조해서 나눠 줄수 있는 사람. 이런 사람들이 필요하다고 얘기하죠. There are quite a number of bomb practitioners in the New Testament. So you have Joseph called Barnabas, not Barnabas Moon, uh, in Acts chapter 4 verses 36 to 37 and he is called a donor. And Dorcas with Simon the Tanner, they are business people. Cornelius, a centurion of the Italian regiment, is also a donor. And Lydia, the dealer of purple cloth, she is a textile magnate. And uh, Jason, the marketplace host and financier, a donor also. And Aquila and Priscilla, tent maker, pretty much like a real estate developer in our time. And Nason of Cyprus, a homeowner and a host, also a donor. And Pibi, a benefactor. And Gaius and Erastus, host and director of public works, a government official. So these are an example of people who are not only doing mission, but doing it with business as mission. 바로 우리가 함께 보고 있는 이 신학 성경에 나오는 여러 가지 다양한 직업과 사역을 하시는 분들이 이분들이 단순하게 복음만 전한 것뿐만 아니라 
복음과 비즈니스 미션을 통해서 어떻게 영향력을 끼쳐나가고 있는지에 대한 예를 지금 현재 우리가 보고 있습니다. But wait, there's more. God is creator of all things. We know that in Genesis 1, 1 to 2 and 4, Nehemiah 9, 6, Psalm 104, Revelation 4, 11, wealth creation is both a gift from God and a command. Right? God has given us the ability to produce wealth. Right? So, God gave us the ability to produce wealth because we need wealth so that the people who are in need will be given a portion, a significant portion of the wealth that we have created from the raw materials that God has given us. So we are fulfilling His mandate to be a co-creator of God. And then the power of trade to create wealth and also to corrupt the wealthy if it is done by non-believers. And is the, Ezekiel chapters 27 to 28 from verse 12 to 24 is the most complete and extensive list of trading communities in the Bible. You will read there in, in those passages the mention of the deeds, the contracts, the sales of products. The distribution, the trading of resources from one country to another country. So the business operation is live in these passages. 조금 전에는 우리가 신약 성경에 나오는 다양한 군상들의 어, 영적인 또 사업적인 예를 보았다면 지금은 구약에 나오는 하나님께서는 모든 것들 쉽게 말해서 비즈니스의 창조자도 되신다는 말씀을 하시는 거고 부와 재물이 더 이상 어떤 개인적인 성취를 위해서 사용되는 것이 아니라 하나님께서 주신 재능이고 또 그것을 나누는 것도 역시 우리가 해야 될 일이라는 것 그다음에 이뭐 자문이라든가 다른 곳에서 비즈니스 에즈 미션의 이론적인 구절이 되는 부분들을 지금 현재 우리가 보고 있습니다. Hard work leads to wealth and more. Wise investors are commended in the Bible. Then there's a call to generosity always. And then markers of a functioning and restored marketplace in Jeremiah 32, 1 and following. And God's blessings of material prosperity through pursuit of wisdom, Proverbs 3.16. And then the call to justice. So all of these components of a business's mission are all in the Bible. Okay? So when we are engaged in business as mission, we are doing the calling of God summarized in the Great Commission. Business as mission을 계속 하다 보면 이 business as mission이 뭐 요새 와서 이렇게 특별하게 떠오르는 주제가 아니라 성경 곳곳에 신구약 곳곳에 지지를 받고 있고 신고약에 많은 사람들이 이미 해왔던 일로서 우리가 비즈니스 미션의 이론적 구절들을 살펴보았을 때 아, 이미 이 일이 전에부터 있어 왔었고 앞으로도 이 일을 통해서 우리가 좀더 효과적으로 많은 일을 할수 있겠구나라는 말씀을 하고 계십니다. So after the survey of biblical principles about the business as mission, how many of you now wants to engage in business as mission? All? Come on, may I see your hands? One, two, three, four, five, six, and the rest, they'll wait. They will wait <laughs> for you to succeed. <laughs> okay, now, those of you who said, I want to do, I want to engage in business's mission. So now, you are a candidate. So the characteristics of a band candidate. Number one, you must be an opportunity seeker. Say it, come on, opportunity seeker. Opportunity seeker. Yes. Number two, you must be an opportunity screener. Say it. Opportunity screener. Very good. 
Then thirdly, opportunity seizer. Opportunity seizer. In the opportunity seeker, you must use all your senses. The sense of seeing, the sense of hearing, the sense of taste, the sense of smelling, the sense of touch. Because opportunity will reveal itself not as obvious to anyone. It is like crypto. It is hidden. Only those people who are prepared can see the real opportunity. If you are not prepared, even though it is right here in front of you, you cannot see it. Business as a missioner, how should you know? Pune, a very particular thing. First, I think the most important thing is to seize the opportunity. We have 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 to seize the opportunity. Business as mission을 하려고 하시는 분들의 중요한 특징 중에 하나가 갖춰야 될 동목 중에 하나가 여러 면에서 그런 과정을 어떻게 하면 찬스를 잡을 수 있을까 열심히 그런 것들을 찾아내는 그 사람이 아닐까 말씀하셨습니다. Yes, the opportunity screener has the ability to know the real business opportunity from the scams that offer get rich quick scheme. Because he knows not all that glitters is gold. 기회를 보아가면서 불을 창출해야 되지만 그 불을 창출하는 기회 역시 어떤 과정과 어떤 상황을 통해서 불을 창출해야 되는 것에 대한 철학도 역시 아울러서 함께 갖추고 있어야 한다고 말씀하셨습니다. And the opportunity seizer is decisive and prepared to put. My money where my mouth is. If I was talking about sustainability, the question always is creation of streams of resources so that when the time comes when there is dry season, you can still have another stream that flows abundantly. So you have to do that. You have to have all these OS, the three OS, in your mindset, in your heart set, and your handset, the skill set. Business mission을 해야 될 사람이라면 열심히 기회를 찾고 방법을 찾고 또 그것을 위해서 본인이 가지고 있는 여러 같은 것을 투자할 수 있는 이런 마인드를 늘 삶의 사역 가운데에서 이루어내야 비로소. Now, in this picture, I show you an example of how the three OS work. Okay? The picture here is uh, featuring two handsome boys. Me and another handsome boy. <laughs> so, that guy there is a retired Lieutenant Colonel of the U.S. Army. His name is Tim Haylett. So in this particular spot, it's actually a repair shop of laptops specializing on Apple laptops. I was there because my laptop, Apple laptop, is defective. So I brought it there to be repaired. So I was waiting and I was sitting down and all of a sudden this white man, American, approached that store, that uh, shop and asked a question. And the question is like this. He said, uh, do you know where can I uh, ask for a service? Because I need to print a calling card. So that's the question. And I was sitting and I was uh, doing communication with my smartphone. And then I heard that statement. Even though I was not the one who is being addressed that question too. Uh, 좀 전에 
비즈니스에서 미션을 하시는 분이 갖춰야 될세 가지 덕목을 어, 실천하고 있는 지금 이 사진을 보여주시는데요. 은퇴한 미군 장병이었던 저분이 어, 랩톱 컴퓨터를 고치는 그 일을 하고 있답니다. 그래서 우리 목사님께서 사용하고 있는 컴퓨터가 고장이 나서 그곳에 가져가서 컴퓨터를 고치게 해달라고 한쪽 구석에 앉아서 어, 핸디로 다른 일을 보고 계시는데 저 분이 오셔서 오히려 이 목사님에게 이리 어떤 중요한 영적인 질문을 하셨는데 제가 그 얘기는 지금 까먹었습니다. 말이 길어서. Obviously, 오히려, 자, 오히려 자기가 해야 될 질문인데 일반 컴퓨터를 고쳐주는 그 가게의 주인이 오히려 목사님에게 와서 영적인 질문을 했을 때 본인이 깜짝 놀랐다고 얘기를 하십니다. So obviously, the shop, the technician doesn't have the answer, right? Because he's a technician. He's not the maker of calling card. But then I know that my daughter, Caris, can do that like that. Right? She is equipped. So I said, I know where you can get your, your calling card printed. And he looked at me and said, mm, really? Okay. So to make the long story short, he is a retired lieutenant colonel of the U.S. Army and he came because he's going to establish a company a logistics company in the Philippines to serve the need of the uh, U.S. Army and Philippine Army doing a uh, exercise, military exercise. It's called Balikatan. You want Balikatan. To? Yes. It's a military exercise, joint military exercise between the U.S. military and the Philippine military. And they need logistics services. And he is right there to do that. But he needs somebody to print the calling card. And I said, I can do that. 그러니까 지금 저 은퇴한 저 분이 오셔서 어, 미군의 은퇴한 병사기 때문에 저 분이 필리핀에 있는 군대하고 미국에 있는 군대하고 어떻게 연합해서 할수 있는 일을 어, 비즈니스를 하기 위해서 왔는데 그런 사람을 알수 있겠냐고 지금 그 가게에 있는 사람한테 물어봤고 거기 앉아있던 이분께서 내가 그거를 중간에서 핸들링을 해줄 수 있는 사람을 안다 바로 그 사람이 내 딸이다 이렇게 얘기를 하셨다고 합니다 그 이유가 뭐냐 그 얘기를 하는 이유가 뭐냐면 opportunity seeker 그러니까 항상 비즈니스 에즈미션을 하려는 마음이 있다면 어떤 사람이 들리는 한 가지 질문에 대해서도 그것을 가지고 비즈니스를 이끌어갈 수 있는 찬스로 잡아낸다는 뜻으로 지금 얘기하시는 것 같습니다 and you know what happened? this is the picture Epic Logistics was born, and I was right there, and I became his partner. 바로 저분이 그곳에 계셔서 지금 저 퇴역한 병사의 사업적인 간단한 한 문장에 대해서도 항상 준비하고 그 기회를 포착하고 있었기 때문에 그분과 함께 연결이 됐고 지금 그분과 함께 일을 해서 파트너로서 로지스틱 컴파니 그러니까 운송해주고 배달하는 그 회사의 파트너로 일을 하고 계신답니다. And we delivered this first. Uh, service product to the US military and that's called berm all right and all in all the total contract that we closed was like close to 20000 US dollars how much was it 20000 US, US dollars in 2 weeks hello are you with me okay easy to did you mean in two weeks time you got after that after, after that, that talk you met him in two weeks time mm -hmm. in two weeks time we close that service logistics service to the US military who need who needed our service and that's the reason why I have a budget to come over here mm -hmm. 어 그런 일이 있고 난 뒤에 바로 2주 뒤에 지금 현재 2만 불이라고 얘기를 하셨죠? 2만 불 수주에 
계약도 있고 일들을 했고 바로 그런 일을 통해서 제가 지금 이곳에 와서 여러분들 앞에서 설수 있는 그런 경제적인 뒷받침이 되기도 했다라고 말씀하셨습니다. Okay, I was given only five minutes, so quickly let's do this. So after the OS, which is the the character the candidate must possess, you must have the three OSs. Next is this BAM strategic viewpoints. Okay, so number one. When you want to do a business's mission, in your mind, in your brain, in your system, in yourself, you must think strategically. Okay? Don't think tactically only. Don't be reactive. Be strategic. So number one, you must have a mission to satisfy the needs of the target market. Okay? And number one, you must do community segmentation. You just don't target Koreans when you, when you go on a diaspora. Don't just target Koreans. Target the people in Darmstadt. All the people. Okay? You can start with the Koreans, but your target is not only the Koreans, but all the people. Amen? Amen? Amen. Come on, says, clap your hands. First time I heard Amen. <웃음> so okay. business's mission so, practitioner가 가져야 될 중요한 전략적인 견해 중에 하나가 있다면 바로 그것은 지금 우리가 리치하고자 하고 있는 그러니까 우리가 가서 사역을 하고 싶은 그 사회의 필요를 분명하게 만족시킬 수 있어야 되고 그것에 대한 이해도 분명하게 가져야 된다라고 얘기를 하십니다. 그리고 하나 둘세 번째 네 가지의 얘기를 통해서 단지 우리가 한국인이기 때문에 우리의 비즈니스가 한국인에게만 국한될 것이 아니라 우리가 속한 곳에 있는 열방들에게까지 갈수 있는 그런 그러니까 인종적인 우리의 비즈니스의 레벨을 제한할 필요가 없다라는 얘기고요. 그 지역에 대한 그 컨셉션 그 이해라든가 그 다음에 그 지역이 아직까지 풀지 못하고 있는 필요라든가 앞으로 그 공동체가 미래에 필요할 어떤 그런 필요라든가 이런 것들을 전부 다 함께 아우러서 볼수 있는 전략적인 지혜가 필요하다고 얘기하고 계십니다. Okay, so one community segmentation, creatively segment the community into as many distinct groups as there is. Number two, community perceptions. Consider all the different ways your community perceives your BAM as a business entity. Number three, unmet community needs. Explore all your community's present unmet needs. And then number four, future community needs. Identify all potential future community needs. Consider needs you can create rather than just merely satisfy. And then third, next, would be sustaining BAM advantage. You have to sustain it. So five, observing and analyzing competitive interaction. And then six, discover and define computer competitor gaps. And seven, value and cost. So all of these are strategically important in developing your strategic plan for your business. So these are questions. These are viewpoints that you must satisfy 100%. And then, capitalizing on your BAM strengths. Do not always say, I don't have money, I don't have money. You are capitalizing on your weakness. No. What do you have? That is the question. What is in your hand? That is the question of God to Moses. Okay? Capitalize on what you have, not what you don't have. I have my experience. From four years old, I was raised an entrepreneur. So I said, Lord, I will redeem my experience. I will dedicate those to you and bless me, O oh God, so that when I do your calling on me, business's mission, I will succeed. And I did, praise the Lord. Strengths and weaknesses, new set of programs and projects, and BAM portfolios. Now, this one is very important also. I want you to see this framework. This is called the 7S plus 1 elements of a BAM organization. 
You know, I teach this course. I develop this course and I teach this course. In fact, this is my thesis for my master's degree. Okay? And all those mentors that uh, heard me presenting this, they said, Art, I don't know all about that. You are already passed. You have passed. <laughs> now, in the center is shared vision, mission, goals, and core values. What is our core values? Okay, prayer, all right. Mm. Education, all right. Mm. What else? You write down. And not only you as a leader will write it down, all the vision statement, mission statement, and goals. Don't just write it down by yourself. Involve everybody in your church. Even the janitor has a mission statement ingredient to contribute. So that when you formulate your vision statement, mission statement, goals, and core values, all are, have participated. And that's called shared values. You cannot say, oh, this is our vision statement. Who created that? Only the pastor. I'm not part of it. So you have to gather all their inputs. Even a janitor, as they say, you know, can say something good. All right? And then next is strategy, system, staff, structure, skills, and style of leadership and style of the organization. What is your brand? How would people perceive you? This is seven elements of an organization, regardless of whether it is for profit or not for profit. This is standard. But then one is lacking if it is not authored by a believer. So I put the lines that connects them all together. It is the Spirit of God. And that is the mission. The power in the mission of a business as mission. And uh, second to the last slide, look at this, praying for a BAM in Hong Kong. This lady here is a businesswoman. She is a Christian. She is an influencer in Hong Kong, Christian community. She owns a building right in Yaomate. And we are here in, the, in this video. I was the one, you know, capturing the video when we were praying with my wife and with a Filipina who is working as a domestic helper for seven years in Hong Kong. And what was the vision given to us by God? To establish a Christian recruitment center agency in Hong Kong and the Philippines so that the Filipinas will be properly trained, evangelized and discipled, and we send them to the right employer and they will be taken care of and they will become 
evangelizers and disciples of its families in Hong Kong that will recruit them. Look at this lady here. She is praying. She is a domestic helper. Yeah, in every dish, there is a provision of that. Thank you, Father God. Uh, you can see the video of 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 아주 중요하면서도 펀더멘탈한 내용 중에 하나가 바로 기도이고 지금 저분이 필리핀에서 지금 또 홍콩에 와서 가정부로 일하고 계시는데 가정부로 일하기 전에 필리핀에서 어떻게 복음을 그 일하는 가정 So I'm the one praying closing the prayer. 예. 가정부를 훈련시켜서 어떻게 홍콩이라든가 다른 곳에서 가정부로 보내지만 그분들이 그곳에서 복음을 전하는 한 사람의 일꾼으로 훈련시켜서 보내는 것. 그러니까 단순하게 파출부 혹은 인력 소개소의 역할을 하는 것이 아니라 그분들을 훈련시켜서 복음을 전할 수 있는 사람으로 이퀴핑을 시켜서 보낸다라는 건데 지금 비즈니스 에즈 미션이 큰 것뿐만 아니라 이런 기도 선교하고 충분히 연관돼서 할수 있다라는 예를 보여주고 계십니다. Okay, and then this is Wealth Creation Manifesto with Bible references that you can download from www.lusan.org/ban. It's a manifesto. Okay, so thank you very much. God bless you.